Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today's video is a little bit different. Um, I didn't know if I was really going to report on this story. I saw it come up in my uh, news feed, and I looked into it a little bit, and the more I looked into it, the more I was intrigued by it, and the more I just said, nah, nah, it's uh, it's not what you think it is, or it's, it's I don't know, I, I, just, I just couldn't believe it at first. And then the more I read into it, and the more I saw people discuss it, the more... Uh, I started to think, you know what, maybe this is newsworthy. So I'm going to put a big disclaimer on this video. You know, take everything that you hear in this video with a grain of salt. Um, I don't know if this is going to turn out to be true, at least what I think it could be. Um, some things are factual, like this test is a real genuine benchmark. So we will be talking about this benchmark. Basically, an AMD Radeon GPU showed up in an OpenVR benchmark and it actually outperformed NVIDIA's RTX 2080 Ti by 17%. Now, We've been hearing about the Navi Killer for quite some time. We've heard that AMD will be competing against NVIDIA's high end this year in 2020. And as recently as CES 2020, Lisa Su did comment on this and said, yes, we know that this is important to the market and that gamers are looking forward to this and that we will have a competitor for NVIDIA's high end cards. Now we see this benchmark pop up out of nowhere and it's actually beating the 2080 Ti by 17%. Now, I would expect their next generation cards from AMD to beat the 2080 Ti's because that's a pretty old generation now. That's like, I believe it's on its second year now. And of course, NVIDIA later this year will be releasing the 3080, the 3080 Ti and whatever cards would follow. So I would expect um, them to be at least on par. Now, this is really good that this is already beating the 2080 Ti. Now, there's some rumors that NVIDIA's cards are going to be 50% better with 50% uh, less power consumption. Now, I don't know if that's for the normal rasterization of games or if that's going to apply to the ray tracing i think it's more the latter i think it's probably going to be the ray tracing is going to be better by 50 percent because their ray tracing on their first generation and i guess sec second generation rtx cards uh like the super they weren't that great the performance wasn't that good when you put ray tracing on you know you lost a lot of frames per second and most gamers don't really play it with uh ray tracing on you know you might play it for the first 35 minutes 45 minutes to see what it looks like but if you're someone that values your frame rate usually turn it off now i do expect nvidia's next generation cards to improve on this tremendously now this is really good that amd has a card that is 17 percent better than the 2080 ti and i'm really excited to see more of what uh, amd is going to bring to the market later this year but the thing that caught my attention on this is that it actually was on a 4800 h now, a 4800H is their APU. Now, this APU is an 8-core, 16-thread CPU. And according to AMD's own benchmarks, it beats a 9700K in gaming. Now, this GPU that we're getting from the test that is 17% faster than the 2080 Ti was actually hooked onto this APU. Now, I'm not quite sure if uh, AMD is messing with configurations and, I don't know, just doing weird tests or if we're actually seeing a console APU. Now, it's very interesting because it is paired with the 4800H and that is not a desktop part. That is a mobile part and that is in an APU. Now, is it possible that they changed their configuration that they have for their mobile processors for their laptops that are coming out this year and they switch that APU out, well, sorry, the GPU that they had on there out with this GPU that's beating a 2080 Ti. Now, I don't know the answer to that. I can't completely rule it out though, to be honest with you. And so that's why I'm doing this video and I want more of you guys to, to discuss what you think this is. Now, if this is the Xbox Series X APU, I'm, I'm speechless, the performance is is staggering 17% better than the 2080 Ti um, like I said I don't know what to believe at, at this point it's it's a strange test to see a such a strong GPU paired with their um, APU with their or the CPU that they're using in their mobile processors um, it's kind of strange to see it paired up. Now, the benchmark that I'm getting these numbers from is OpenVR Benchmark. And uh, as you can see on the screen here, they tested at the same resolution as a 2080 Ti. Now, it's at 1512 by 1680. 
And as you can see on the chart here, the 2080 Ti did 88.10 frames per second. And this unknown GPU from AMD did roughly 103 frames per second. Now this is 17% better than the 2080 Ti, tested at the same resolution using the same benchmark. Um, so it, it is a valid metric, but what does the GPU belong to? That's, that's the question. That'd be really crazy if that's an APU, if they actually got this performance out of an APU. And if they get this performance out of an APU, what can we expect from their desktop counterparts? Those will be really powerful cards then because their power envelope will obviously be higher, so you're gonna get more performance out of it and always you get more performance out of a desktop part than the mobile variant. And that would just be crazy. And what can we expect from NVIDIA in that case if, if AMD is bringing such a high metric because I do know that NVIDIA will bring good cards. I do believe that the 3080 and the 3080 Ti will perform much better than their predecessors. And I think ray tracing will be an actual option that most gamers will turn on because I don't think it will affect the frame rate as much as the uh, last two iterations of it. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit confused. I, I don't know what to believe on this. I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think this could possibly be the Xbox Series X APU and if you think that let me know in the uh, comment section down below why you think that now if you don't think this is the Xbox Series X APU you think it's something else also let me know in the comment section um, you know if there's some more information that comes out by the time I release this video let me know in the comment section together and let's try to figure out what this is nonetheless it looks like AMD definitely is on the right track for the high-end graphics that will be coming out later this year their GPUs look to be powerful and even this is not for an APU and this is a sign of things to come for AMD's GPUs in 2020 uh, it's still a good thing anyways um, like I usually say please like share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one